Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nina. I run a blog and YouTube called Style with Nina. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, you have amazing taste. Here we talk about luxury, beauty, fashion, and travel. If any of those things interest you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you will be notified of all of my amazing video videos. Of all of my amazing videos. Okay, so on today's video, I am going to do a, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to title it, but something along the lines of luxury items that I am not buying as of right now. Um, so yeah, the very first one, and I'm going to go ahead and leave, um, I'm going to leave pictures of what I'm talking about one of these sides depending on which one looks the best um but the first one you may or may not be surprised about this but um yeah your girl ain't with the hermes the hermes birkin that's my number one um yeah for a few reasons one reason why i'm not buying the hermes birkin is number one i don't like the games that hermes play with you purchasing their items. Um, yeah, I'm just not about that life. That's not what luxury is in my opinion. Um, if I can afford it, I should be able to buy it. I do understand that, um, you know, you wanna make sure that things are, I guess, rare. You don't wanna overproduce. I get that, but the whole standing in line, waiting your turn, then you have to, um, they pick what they think you should have for a 10,000 plus bag, yeah, it's a hell no for me. So that's Hermes Birkin. I don't see myself um, purchasing one. And if I do, it would definitely be probably on the secondhand market. That's just me. Um, Cause I'm not playing those games. That's just not, it's not what I'm about. Okay, so since we already on the air mask, I might as well go ahead and, and knock out the other one. Number two is going to be the air mask Kelly. And if you want to know why I refer to air mask one, um, same thing. Um, it's just why am I? You know, why are you treating me like trash to buy your ten thousand dollar item? I mean, and I know that there's like videos out about you know how to make sure you snag all of that and i'm like but it's ten thousand dollars do you know that you can you can literally purchase a home for ten thousand dollars now is it a home you want to live in i ain't saying that but i'm saying ten thousand dollars that is an i mean that is a substantial amount of money i don't care how much money you have um 10k just to drop it and be treated like uh to me like a, a peasant you know you gotta stand in line you know pull a number uh you know research what type of leathers the bag i'm not i want i like the bag i want the bag boom like i'm not going through those games um that's just me now for the ones who have done that no judgment but for me in my house and what i'm about I just don't think that treating your customers like crap um, is a good marketing strategy. But who am I? Because listen, Hermes got a whole lot of money. You know, I'm trying to, you know, so maybe I'm, you know, maybe playing games like that works. Clearly it does. But just for me and my personality, I would never, I don't like standing in line for nothing. I'm not standing in line for the new iPhone, I'm not standing in the line. I, the last, the only time me or hubby stood in line for something was when we had, when our kids were smaller and it was, of course you do stuff for your children. You know, the latest ex, but whatever the case is, me and my husband, we have actually spent the night outside, which in the cold, cause you know, this is Christmas, spent the night outside <laughs> to get our kids the was it the xbox or the wii i think it was the wii so one of those games for my kids yeah but 
you know, you're talking a couple hundred dollars. For thousands of dollars, I'm not standing in line. I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not standing in line for no iPhone. I'm not standing in line for the latest no, nothing. I don't like standing in line when I even go to events. If you invite me to an event and I have to stand in your line, that will probably be the last time I go. And I don't care how many subscribers I have. In my mind, I'm that chick. So I'm waiting on you to catch up to see who I am. So I'm not standing in line. I don't, I don't do lines. So go ahead. We're gonna just go ahead and move on to three. Um and ugh, I hate to do this because this is a very popular brand right now, but I'm not buying it. I'm I just I'm not that girl. So number three is Bottega Veneta. It's a no for me. I mean, it's like, you know, a couple of their shoes look like old lady shoes with the square toe and the, and the, um, the, the toe is square and then it's got like a mesh on it. Looks like, like a hoof of a, of a, um, horse. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about that life. That's just me. Um, do they have some amazing bags? Yes. Are they worth the price to me? Absolutely not. I'm just, and, and I wanna prefix this, prefix this by saying, when I say luxury items I'm not buying, um, definitely mean current trends and styles and right now prices. Now, do I have some of the same brands that I'm mentioning vintage? Yes, but I'm talking brand new, walking in the stove, paying today's price for it. I ain't doing it. Bottega Veneta. It's a no, it's a no bueno. It's, it's to me, if I'm keeping it 100, which I like to do on my channel, I think it's a hype brand. I think that, now Bottega Veneta makes some of the best leather. Let me, let me just, they do. However, you gotta think about these brands that a few years ago, wasn't nobody checking for them, and now they are, you know, really, really expensive. I'm not, I'm not about to spend my money on hype stuff. So that's Bottega Veneta. It's a no for me. Number four, I just don't see myself doing it, y'all. I just don't. I've been trying to like talk myself up to doing it, but I just can't do it. What is it? Chanel. Brand new Chanel. I just can't. Chanel pricing has just become ridiculous. Like... I mean, they have minimum of three price increases a year. Um, but their quality sucks. It, I mean, I'm just keeping it real. I have a vintage Chanel. I have several vintage Chanel's. And I have been into the Chanel store. And like, if I wasn't in the Chanel store, I would think that they're knockoff bags. This is just my opinion, my channel, my opinion. I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm not, you know, I get I get a lot of people, you know, in my comments, real sensitive. If you sensitive, I'm not the girl for you. Like, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but these are my opinion, and I'm not going to apologize for any of my opinions. They're my opinions. So, um, again, Chanel, brand new. It just ain't worth the money to me. It is not, the quality is not there. They're not using, you know, like one of my favorite Chanel bags is my vintage <clears throat> maxi flap bag. It's the the um the C's are dipped in 24 karat gold. What are they, what are they doing at it? What, what what Chanel bag you know right now got got it's dipped in anything. If you even notice, Chanel is getting away from producing a lot of gold hardware, period. Because when you do gold hardware, if the gold hardware is not of quality, it starts to fade, it starts to chip. So instead of them making their quality better, they have started releasing more bags with less gold hardware. So, and that's another brand, if I'm keeping it real, I don't like how they treat you. They treat you like, you know, it's a privilege for you to come in and drop the 6K on this uh, low quality leather bag. Yeah, I'm not, 
that's me. I am not interested in any brand new Chanel handbags. I just think their pricing is ridiculous for what you're getting. I mean, Chanel, if I had to pick between buying an Hermes and a Chanel, the prices are so close that I'm definitely gonna go with Hermes because though I don't like the games that Hermes plays, the quality of their leather is amazing. I can't say that for Chanel. I mean, if I'm being real, I just can't. So, yeah, Chanel anything. Um, even their, their, um, what am I saying? Not their fine jewelry, but their jewelry. And I have a couple Chanel pieces um, as far as earrings are concerned. And I'm like, did I really spend $500 for some not even gold-plated jewelry? You know, when I think about it, uh, now those same pieces, and this is just a few years ago, are like seven and $800 for, I don't, what are we paying for? I know we're paying for the name. I get it. You know that I'm that luxury, you know, hello, luxury girl. Um, but I just think, like I said, I'm always, when I purchase things, I'm always comparing quality with outrageous pricing. Like, I just can't. I, I just think Chanel right now, currently, is not worth it. That's just me. And like I said, do I have some vintage pieces? Yes. Are there some Chanel fashion jewelry that I want? Yeah, but it's like every I have been in the store and looked at some fashion jewelry and saw the price of $725 and was like, can I, re and I mean, ugh, I just, I just can't do it. $400, $500. Yeah, that, but when you start seven, like close to a thousand for not even gold plated jewelry, ugh, I just, I just can't. So I digress. Let me move on. Um, another thing that I don't think is worth the money and I won't be buying is luxury phone cases. And the reason for that is it should be self explanatory, but for, I'm gonna explain it because it's my channel. Um, yeah, the phones change too much. So, you know, you spend, you know, for what I would want, like a LV or, you know, you talking, you know, a thousand plus. The phone already costs $1,400. Every iPhone I get costs $1,400 because I need the max this and the most get all, 14 minimum. And then I'm going to spend another thousand for the case. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Like... I just can't, and you know, I, I don't like to stunt like that. Like, I just I just can't do it. Now, you can do it, I can't do it. Number one, it just changes. Like, to me, if you could buy, it's not even the price. So yeah, I can get over the case cost $1,000. But I know in two years, I'm gonna need another case because I'm gonna need another phone. I tend to buy iPhones every other year. I'm not gonna buy the phone every year when it drop off. I ain't doing it. Why? Because Apple don't be making no substantial changes in their stuff. So that's a whole nother story. Um, so I can easily drop 1K on a handbag. No problem. 1K on some shoes. Don't see the problem. But on something that you have to keep buying, I could even say, okay, 1K, if, you know, at least if I buy the, the, um, the fake jewelry, the jewelry that's not fine quality, you're going to wear that a couple times. And you may even have like my, my, um, Chanel stud earrings. You know, I've had them four years. I'm probably going to have them and give them to some of my kids. Like I, even though it's a waste of money, it's not as much of a waste of money as buying a phone case that, you know, if you buy it for $1,000, new phone comes out, then you can say, if you resell the case, a couple hundred dollars maybe, and you know I'm a resale girl, so if I can't make all of what I paid for something, I don't buy it. That's just the way I, you know, live life. So, moving right along, design a luggage. Your girl ain't gonna be able to do the design of luggage. I just, 
And when I say designer luggage, if y'all watched my, if y'all watched my um, entire Gucci collection, you know that I did purchase uh, a piece of Gucci luggage vintage. However, when I say designer luggage, what I mean is like the roller bags, the um, stuff that you have to give to TSA. You got to give it to them and then pray that it comes back halfway decent. I mean, I have, every time I go flying, there's a ding on my regular bag. Like they, they just, the airlines do not care about your luggage. So I'm not about to, you know, my, my designer stuff is like my baby. So it's like literally me giving you my child and then my child comes back all beat up and I'm just supposed to accept that? Yeah, no. So what's crazy is that luggage tends to be less expensive than a lot of the actual handbags. So the handbags can be this this big and cost, let's just say $3,000. You can get a whole, you know, nice roller luggage for around the same price in a lot of your fashion houses. But for me, number one, I just think you're a target. And then number two, your bag gonna get broke and then you know, LV ain't gonna be able to fix it. Chanel ain't gonna be able to fix it. Right? It's just a waste of money to me. So, won't be buying those. Oh, this is where y'all gonna get mad at me. I know I'm about to offend some people, but I'ma just say it. The Louis Vuitton never fool. I can't. I can't do it, y'all. I cannot never be full. I, I am full of not gonna be able to buy that bag. Um, I just can't do it. It's just not something that I'm interested in. The Neverfull is like, the closest thing I have to the Neverfull is I have a Fendi bag that, you know, is in basically the same whatever. Uh, I went through that phase in my life. I don't think I'm really in that phase anymore. Is the Neverfull a bag that's great for probably traveling? Yes. But it's so... Everybody, they mama, cousin, sister, nephew, niece, aunt, auntie, distant relative, everybody got that bag. And so for me, I hate stuff that everybody and their mama got. Like if it's popular, I'm gonna steer left. Like I just, and that brings me to the Pochette Matisse that I just had to have, and I love that bag. But that is one of those bags that everybody and their mama got. And um, though I don't ever see myself getting rid of the bag because hubby bought me the bag, I really wanted the bag at the time. I think I got caught up in the hype of, um, like everybody's the, what's the thing everybody hyped for now? I think I got caught up in the blogger hype with the Pochette Matisse. Even though I love it, I'm just not the girl who likes to have stuff that's, really trendy really trend the never fool is a classic bag so i hate to put it in the trending trendy category but i just it's like a mom bag i'm gonna just say it that way i'm a mom of four kids but my youngest is 18 so all my children are grown i think it's an amazing bag for um i'm just looking at my bro. i think i gotta i gotta get tighter for y'all the next video but anyway um i think it's an amazing bag if you're a mom and you want to stun on them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The Never Fool would have been uh, my diaper bag if I was that girl. But I'm just not at that phase in my life anymore, so that's why I can't do the Never Fool. Um, here's another one, y'all about to be mad at me. And I'm gonna put this all in one category. Just all in one category. First, I'm gonna start off by saying the Dior saddlebag. I can't, like, I can't do it. Number one, because I resell for a living, three years ago, you could get the Dior saddlebag on God, like, I kid you not, for less than $100. Anywhere, like, anywhere three years ago. I'm gonna even say four years ago. I'm gonna just go ahead and say four years ago. $100, like a dime a dozen. 
and if you know and i could have i started to buy it because i saw like i'm one that i can kind of see where the trends are going and i should have bought some to resale but i just did not like the bag the bag looks i mean it looks like a kidney to me so yes and no for me and then what they cost now for a bag that and i'm gonna just throw this all in the same boat any re-release your girl can't do it i would rather find the vintage than buy the re-release why because the re-release is going to be to me of lesser quality than the original the original bags were made with better materials that is why I am a vintage girl. When I say I'm a vintage girl, that does not mean that I like to look like a, like old. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, any re-release, the Gucci re-releases, the new Jackie or all of them bags, just go and find the vintage one. Luxury AirPod cases. And I, I hate to put this on a list because I am looking at a Gucci one. I really am. They got a cute little Gucci AirPod case for, for like, $400 and I was like but I'm gonna just say no um, and it's gonna be the same reason why I would not get a luxury phone case I just think that they are um, you know how Apple do you know how Apple do they gonna switch it ain't gonna be the same and so I'm gonna be stuck with a case that I ain't gonna be to do nothing with in a few years so I'm gonna just say no to the luxury AirPod cases. Um, and then I'm gonna throw this in because I've had a couple people ask me about this brand. And um, do I wanna tell y'all that? I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in there. The Loewe puzzle bag, it's gonna be a no for me. Um, I just don't like it. I don't like it. And, and look, two of my favorite YouTubers have the bag. And there is cute on them. Who am I talking about? Karen Brickchick has the bag. It's fabulous on her. And also, my girl Janae from Hilo Lux has the Loewe puzzle bag. It looks amazing on them. But it's just not my style. So you will never see me with the Loewe puzzle bag. It is a no for me. Do I want to throw a few more in there for y'all? I will. So we're going to say 10 plus because it's going to be more than 10. The next thing I will not be buying is anything rock stood. Valentino Rockstud. Yeah, it's just not my vibe, y'all. It's just not, I don't know. And I am a rocker chick. Like, that is really my vibe. So you would think that the rock stud would go with it. And I did want the rock stud shoes at one point that everybody and mama had. I did want those shoes. The more I look at it, the tackier it looks to me. So, okay, so the next one that I want to say that I will not be purchasing. The Balenciaga, I think it's called the Ville, Ville, Ville. Okay, so it's it's the Balenciaga bag. It's the top handle and it has the Balenciaga written out on it. It kind of looks like an Alma bag from Louis Vuitton, but it's just a little more old lady looking I don't know but that that Balenciaga bag your girl won't have it um not a huge Balenciaga handbag person to begin with um that's just not me um, I like more of their ready to wear than their handbag so you would not see me with Balenciaga the little top handle bag with the and I'll put a picture up to show you what I'm talking about um oh and I'm gonna throw this one in girl and, and might as well. I'm going to end it here because this list can go on and on and on, but I'm going to end it here. And I love this brand. When I tell you I love this brand and it hates, it hates. I'm, I'm ending it on a good note or on a bang because I really do love this brand. However, and I do have um, 
one of their bags. But that's a whole other story on how I got it. So what am I talking about? Brand new Fendi. Oh, I just ain't there. When I say brand new Fendi, I mean brand new Fendi handbags. And when I say brand new Fendi handbags, I mean brand new Fendi leather handbags. Ah! And when I tell you I want the Fendi peekaboo so bad, and they got some cute Fendi bags that come out, but Fendi does not hold their, they do not hold their value. So I'm gonna end it here with this one, Fendi. I cannot see myself purchasing anything new. When I say anything, let me not say anything, but any handbag from Fendi, mainly their leather bag. I'm gonna say all their handbags. Number one, because they're the pricing. Oh, I got another one, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna end it with that one. The pricing is just for, you don't get your money out of it. So I don't like purchasing things that you can't get your money back if you decide to resell it. And for me, that is Fendi. Fendi does not hold their value. I may do a whole nother video on handbags that I won't purchase because they don't hold their value. If you want to see that, leave that in the um, comment section and I'll make sure to get that video for you guys. And then the last one that I'm going to say, y'all going to be mad at me. Maybe not. Celine. I can't see myself doing the Celine, y'all. I can't. I just can't. Celine. And I love Celine handbags. Let, let me just say, I love Celine handbags. I had the Celine. Was it the Trappies? And I bought the bag. And I tried to resell it. I think it took two years to resell that bag because I was trying to get most of my money back out of it. It took me two years to resell that bag, but I don't think I made any money on that bag at all. So Celine, and I love um, old Celine, classic, like the Celine box bag. Oh, that bag is beautiful, but I just can't. It just doesn't hold good resale wise. But anyway, I am going to end the video here. Hopefully you like this video. If you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned, make sure you leave that in the comment section. I am going to end it here. Stay stylish, stay fabulous. Until next time. Mwah.